Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Amanda jump in right now. Amanda, hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being so patient. You still got a lot of time. Um, let's introduce you. Wow, look at you and all these TV shows that you in, you interned with. Oh, let's see. Amanda's mic. Yep, I had really a few quick. internships, I should you say. You did. My channel, Channel 5, KTLA, WFT, TV. You are the new, you know who Gail Murphy is? Uh, yes. You are, you may be the, oh, Gail listens to the show. I can't Oh, you. my God. Hey. <laughs> this, oh, wow. She could, we love she, Gail. We do love Gail. We have our loyalty to Gail, but you could be, we could be loyal to you, too. We share. Yes. <laughs> Let's get right into it. What do you have for us, Amanda Rogers? Well, um, I am currently in Gainesville. I actually graduate from the University of Florida in a week. I'm graduating early, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's a little bittersweet, kind of sad to leave college early, but excited for what's in store in the future. Um, but, yeah, but I've had quite a few internships, and... I'm originally from Jacksonville, and I think I'm going to be moving out to L.A. in January in search of a job um, in entertainment, hosting, or reporting. I always thought I wanted to be a TV reporter, um, but then I had my internship at KTLA in the entertainment department, and it was so much fun. Um, I'm anchoring entertainment at WUFT News right now, so um, definitely, definitely want to do something in entertainment. And if I start out as a general assignment reporter or maybe a feature reporter, there's different paths to take, and I want to work my way up there. Man, this is one I wish I would. I wish I had more information. I mean, uh, we didn't uh, because I would have called. I would have asked Gail for her presence. She's royalty to me, Gail Murphy. Because yeah. if you were on with Gail, there'd be so many questions you can ask her. She, you know, you, she's been all over the place, and she was on E as an entertainment reporter. You two will just have. It would be like the view. Why can't we do. get them on together one day? I do. I do want uh, to get them on together. <laughs> She's royalty. That would be sort of awesome because let's just say that E is always on in my house. It's kind of like my, my religion to watch E News. I have to wow. say. Um, <laughs> so. Wow. Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. Try to get Gail. Kelly says you want me to get Gail. Yeah. See if you can find Gail. Tell her that she thinks she watches E all the time and she likes her. We'll try to get her on to talk to you. Now, you're trying to make your bones here. Let's get some bones going. So. With your internship, it wouldn't be hard for you to go in the VH1, MTV, E! Entertainment, you know, some of these cable shows. Are you finding it hard to get your foot in the door, even though you have all this resume for interning at these you major networks? The thing is, I mean, just getting into the doors in L.A. are, are so hard. And at my other internships, like I will say at KTLA, um, like some of the producers were like, you need to start out in a smaller market and work your way up. That's what most people do. But mm -hmm. I honestly feel like entertainment is, like, a whole other animal. You know, like, I I don't think that reporting news on, you know, crime or traffic is going to help me in entertainment so much. Um, and I, I always agree. thought I was going to start out in a smaller market. But then, you know, everyone has told me, like, professionals, and my mentors have really suggested I should start out in a smaller market. And then I talked to one of my teachers um, at the University of Florida, and she was giving me tips on my resume tape and, and what a newsreel should look like. And I go, well, that's really cool, but uh, what about for entertainment? She goes, oh, well, entertainment is completely different. You, you, need, I mean, that's, you need to be doing something completely different. If, you, if you're doing entertainment, why would you start in a small market? And I go, because that's what everyone tells me. And she goes, they're wrong. Why mm -hmm. would you sell yourself short? Like, you need to go out there and see what you can do. And if it doesn't work out, at least you don't have to wonder, hey, what if I had to I agree with out? you. News belongs in the small market to start, and entertainment, you need to go right where it is. And that's I'm Suzanne Bryanbach. That's Suzanne Bryanbach. And uh, Suzanne Bryanbach, this is Amanda Rogers. Where have I heard <laughs> that name? I, I mean, I'm thinking Amanda Rogers, and I know there's Amanda something who's an actress, but that name is just, it's, it's a good name. It oh my gosh, thank you. It's it's so funny when I was um you know Sam Rubin, the entertainment anchor for yes, CTLA. Yes, yes. So on my last day of my internship, um I I used to go by Mandy. I spelled it with an I. Um actually I always go by Mandy. All my friends call me Mandy. Um and my last uh day of my internship people were talking about like the other interns were talking about changing their name for T V and I'm like, Oh, I'm definitely gonna go by Mandy Rogers and Sam Rubin goes, But your real name's Amanda? And I say, Yes and he goes, Well, Amanda Rogers is a perfect T V name, like for an entertainment host or something, you definitely have to go by Amanda Rogers. And I go, 
Sam, it just doesn't feel like me. I don't know. And so on my last day on air, like live, he goes, so it's a very sad day. We're losing our one of our beloved interns. Mandy Rogers. But the question is, <laughs> did she go by Amanda Rogers? And everyone, like all the all the other anchors, you unanimously are like, oh yeah, Amanda Rogers for sure. So oh, I'm yeah. like, okay, maybe they're on. I agree. It's got to be Amanda. <laughs> Otherwise, if it's if it's Mandy with an I, everybody's going to think it's like the Brandies and everything else. And yeah. Exactly. Not take you serious. They're going to think of you as right. a, a bimbo. So exactly. go with Amanda, but please. It's true because I already kind of have a young face. Anyways, and yeah, you, Sam you have like, a young, pretty. Let me just tell you, I saw this lady's trailer. She is good, but she's oh. also she she reminds me. And I was telling this to Kelly. Kelly is my executive producer, and I don't know if I told it. She's a very pretty lady, and she has she stands and she sits in that chair. She owns the studio when she talks, and um, she reminds me. You're of, talking about me? Um, <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, I am. Uh, you Thank remind you. me of. Who would help me out with the actresses? Because I don't know. remember the one who did the Law movie with her little oh chihuahua. Oh my God! Reese Witherspoon. Everyone says that. You you remind me of a young Silver Spoon. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see it, but I have gotten that many times before. Yeah, you you do you. And if you, uh, what's her first name? Uh, Reese Reese Witherspoon. Oh yeah, Reese. I'm so sorry, mm-hmm. Reese. If you think of her and you got Amanda. But think of her as a real repo- a reporter, uh, selling the news that, straight. That's perfect. The name Amanda is just absolutely perfect. It's it is the only perfect, way you're going to be taken serious. I yes. mean, you can almost hear it now. Now sent out to, coming to you live. We're going live to, uh, to Amanda Boyd. Rogers. Uh, Amanda Rogers is now reporting on the oil situation. What do you got there, Amanda? Well, I just saw Brad Pitt. Yeah, no, but, but if we go out to if we're going out to Mandy Rogers, well, yeah, Brad yeah was exactly. Great. We'll wait till you slide down from the pole to give you a report. Now, Mandy, exactly, exactly. You've got yeah. We've we've just given you the greatest advice. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Amanda Robert, Amanda Rogers sounds Harvard. Mandy or yes, Ma- Mandy Rogers sounds girls gone wild. <laughs> Yes, you it know does. what? It's it's a good name for college, I guess, but in the professional world, you don't, really college, see, yeah. you don't really see many Mandy's. It's just like okay, Mandy Moore, but we haven't really heard from her in a while. So <laughs> yeah. I think I'll stick with Amanda. That's what your mom can call you. That's what your brother can call you. But in your professional yeah. world, you need to be called Amanda. Yeah. yeah so I, agree. I would agree. Well, have you tried? I mean, intern, I mean, you interned with the best. I mean, locally I can only speak to Cake TLA, but you mm-hmm. entered all around in Florida and everything. Uh, are you doing a video blog or any, are you doing any entertainment you know blog? I'm starting, um, I'm starting my, I'm starting up a website, actually. I just purchased a domain for it, and I still have to put it together. But I'm going to kind of make it like a blog, and it'll have different videos that I've done, different segments for my anchoring um, at WUFT, because I did sports last year, and this year I'm doing entertainment. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely have to find a way to market myself. Everyone says, you know, got to get on Twitter, Twitter and LinkedIn. And mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. a Facebook girl myself, but... Again, Facebook is sort of for, like, my friends and just mm-hmm. keeping in touch with people. Sure. So I, I definitely need to um, to get into Twitter and LinkedIn more. I do have a LinkedIn account. I actually am using it now. But, um, yep, I'm – Yeah, Kelly, of- our executive producer, introduced me to LinkedIn, and um, it was one of the best advice I've ever received. So oh, it, it has done a lot for Anarchy Media, media for us. Uh, Oh, it, uh, it brought us great people such as yourself, Amanda, and and Demi, who was just on, and Suzanne is such a great help. On uh, she puts the professional face in our key and talking to the people. It has helped. Lincoln is really great. Now, let me talk to you. So, what are you doing now? How are you making a living, Miss Rogers? Well, um, I I do. Um, I used to be a server, but. I'm still in school, so... Wait a minute, wait a minute, I, server. Wait a minute, all server, of a sudden things yeah. just, my head it just exploded. Hold on one question. I, let's go to the expert. Uh, Jeffrey Bertrand, can you open up your mic? Can you tell me a pretty girl like her when she says she's a server, what is that? A server as in, like, hello, restaurant? Yes. 
Oh, oh, okay. So I'm sorry. Just checking. That's what I thought too. <laughs> we'll talk later, Jeffrey. <laughs> I was Jeffrey thinking just, it was a mainframe computer. Out there. <laughs> and the way Absolutely. Jeff said it, well, hello in a restaurant. Like, what are you thinking, pervert? Okay. <laughs> Thank I you, Jeffrey. Like the restaurant industry very much. Um, <laughs> So you so you were a server, so that's what they call them now? I, I don't know if it waitresses or hostess. Waitress, sure. Restaurant server is the more okay. professional term. <laughs> now did you ever apply at Hooters? No. I did not. Uh, okay. Also the Hooters in Gainesville closed down anyways. Like, did they really? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, now that, that's difficult. breaking news. How come you're not on <laughs> that case? <laughs> well, it was a few years ago. Um, but, yeah, we don't have a Hooters in Gainesville. Oh, my God. you got to so, come out here. I'll tell you what I did. Oh, I want to. Trust me. I'll tell you what I did do, though. When I was in L.A. this summer, obviously yes. L.A. is a very expensive place to live. Yes, yes. So, dirt, dirt, um, dirt, dirt. Yes. Yeah, I'm just getting into dirt. So, Go ahead. Confession time. We were listening. <laughs> but So what I did was I, um, I actually did some kind of funky side projects to make money. Um, I did a photo shoot for a handbag company and then an Armenian commercial, like on the Armenian channel for a hair salon. And then on the side I did uh, like um, some promotional modeling and brand ambassador work for, you know, Physician Formula and Hawaiian Tropic. And it was just a good way to to make some side money but not be so um, tied down with like a daily schedule. Right, right, and it is a good way to find some good money, especially with your looks like that. You can do quick modeling. Now, so basically, you don't have a job. Nope. So I mean, I so let's recoup. I have another exam to take. <laughs> okay, so let's just recoup here. You don't have a job, and you like to serve men. <laughs> oh well, God, Brian! I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just for the going record, on. I do not like being a restaurant server. So a restaurant, okay. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, see, I'm just seeing the newspaper. I'm just you know what that. it is. You know what it is, Amanda. He's mixing up intern, all of this stuff. He's thinking Monica Lewinsky. Will she fit under my desk? You know, it, it, you just need to let Brian oh, go. Brian, 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 Brian. <laughs> oh my. I am guilty. I see a very pretty lady. Who is very yeah. smart, intelligent. She has charisma. Yes. She has knowledge. She's eager. She's very young. She has, and she wants to do entertainment reporting. I see that. Wouldn't that. I love to just have her into Anarchy Media? Oh my God. We couldn't afford her. Tell me, tr- trust me. Hey, let me tell you. I know. I know. I know. Wouldn't that just be wonderful, though? Let me tell you what what baggage she will bring. I am expensive even to talk to Brian. I understand that, Amanda. Now no, I, I need this. I, I don't think you can really start out with a high price. Oh, you are. You know, Amanda, let me ask you, what kind of guys you go out with? I'm going to tell you, you are high maintenance. I can tell you that right now. No, and you deserve not. to be high maintenance. But do you, would you go out with a, a, a janitor in a school? Because if you will, I have some guy who's looking for a date. You know what? I, I I have a boyfriend right now, actually. Oh, and and what does he do for a living? Astronaut, <laughs> doctor, lawyer. <laughs> yeah, actually, he's um no, <laughs> no, oh. he he's a story producer um for VH1. He lives in LA, actually. He's from Ding Florida, ding though. ding! I rest my case. What? You are what? high maintenance. He's How a producer. Maintenance? I mean. Uh-huh. I mean, he's working his way up. But I'm yeah, sure he is. He's very successful. I'm sure he worker, is. But and I bet you he comes from a very nice family. Does he come from a very influential family? Um, He comes from a very, very nice family. I love him. Uh-huh. Family. Does he know the Kennedys? Uh-huh. Do, you go to, do you go to Kenny, uh, do you go to Martha Vineyard on the weekends? No, it's not like that. He's he's a Florida boy. He he likes to sail and do nature uh, things. How many times have you been no, to the Virgin Islands? How many times have you been to the Virgin Islands? Zero. <laughs> how many? Zero. Oh, well, he's a cheap son of I a bitch. I thought she said 12. <laughs> I thought you did, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, 12 times. No big deal. <laughs> Amanda, you, uh, you are such a nice lady. Thank you for kidding with us, Amanda Rogers, everybody. Do you have stories to tell us, Amanda? Yes, I do. Oh, okay, you might actually like this. So, okay. Brian Lochte, uh-huh. he went to my school. He tra- he swam at U- at the University of Florida. 
And this is where he trains. This is where he trains for the Olympics. And he, um, let's just say he is a bit of a Gainesville celebrity. I mean, he's kind of a celebrity all over the world. But especially after the Olympics, I mean, he always comes to Gainesville. He has a house here still, and he's always at, like, the college bars and clubs and stuff. So um, some of my girlfriends know him, and I think a lot of people have this Ryan Lochte crush. But he is in talks to get his own reality show. Um, oh, my God. Probably that would be a disaster, please. Amanda. I heard this okay. guy's an idiot. Right? He's an That's idiot, crazy. Amanda. No, Amanda. this is what I am saying. Like, he, okay, we've all seen him on interviews. We can say he's not the most eloquent speaker. So to speak he's an now. idiot. Okay, yes, okay. You you can you can say that. I will agree with you. Um, <laughs> you go, I mean, I'm losing my mind here. I'm trying to get right. into business, and you're calling my guy an idiot. My girlfriend knows him. I hang around with him, and you're making me no, call him no, an no. idiot. No, I, I have met him. I don't hang around with him or anything. I kind did of you, like, Did you have a conversation you know, with this gentleman, and how long I mean, did the conversation yes, last? Two seconds. Like, exactly. No, I mean, ding, ding, ding. I mean, <laughs> it's really funny, though, because now, like, that he's been in the Olympics and has done, like, so many endorsements and stuff. When he comes to Gainesville, he has his, like, bodyguards around him and entourage You crack me up. You know why you crack me up? Because when you tell me dirt, I don't even know you, and you get into a whisper, but we're the same thing. And you know what he does. Go ahead. I'm listening. (laughs) No, but I just, I had to get your, like, what you thought about him having a reality show because he's, I guess he's in talks with Eve, and I've seen Uh cameras here filming him. I keep filming I'm already right turned now. off by reality show. Me too. I don't know how. It's, I don't know. Like, it really how like I just. How could is he really that interesting enough to have a reality no. show? Like, what is it going to be? No. Like, him going was to that, too quick? No, he's not. Well, you know, he's the same kind of entering as was that guy who married uh, Kim K for the basketball player. Oh uh, yeah, he, Chris Humphreys. Chris, he's as interesting as Chris Humphreys. I I make the same comparison all the time. That's so funny. It <laughs> like, is. I don't think I don't think producers are even like they can't even edit his interviews to make him sound somewhat intelligent. I mean, I how are they going to do a whole reality show with him? Because it's his name. Because oh, he's about know. as interesting as the guy that you know was the father of the baby of uh, Sarah Palin's daughter. Oh yeah! Uh, daughter. Oh yeah! Him. He's as interesting Levi. as Levi. Levi. Yeah, he's about an uh, interesting yeah. guy. Honey, yeah, 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 that's true. I mean, it, honey, Boo Boo? Honey, Boo Boo will still kick his ass in ratings. Totally. Yeah, interesting. That's a, is that an exclusive? Because you had an exclusive for us. But that is interesting, though, man. Yeah, you know what? I, like, because they're shooting the pilot and it was being filmed in Gainesville, I don't think other people know about it. I mean... Did everybody go I, to sleep during the pilot? <laughs> you know, we could, bet, we could have a bet. <laughs> Suzanne, how mean of you. You know, Amanda, we can have a bet. Let's have a friendly bet. Okay. I bet you that they'll shoot the pilot, but it'll never be seen. I think they'll okay. shoot the pilot, they'll shop it, and I don't think it may. Maybe two episodes will appear just to see if there's any interest, but I don't think it's going to be a go. What do you think? This is what I think. I think they're going to okay. film the pilot, think it's lame, and be like, we see our pilot, but we'll just give you, like, a first season. I don't think the pilot will be seen, but I think that they'll refilm it. And I think he'll have one season. I think people will start out watching it, but then their post-Olympic high will probably go away, and they won't really care about him, and he won't be relevant. And I really think it's going to be of him maybe going on a few dates and, like, going into, like, the club scene and maybe, like, some shots of paparazzi taking pictures of him, if that would even happen. I don't think it would be very interesting. Now, if he were to do... I think it's going to go to World's Dumbest Videos. Yeah, like his interviews. <laughs> she has no mercy. I, I don't know. Mercy. Again, if he were to get like his own fashion line, and yeah. then which he said he wanted to do, and I kind of think if he's going to pick, he, he to me he's a swimmer who wants to be a celebrity. But if right. he's going to pick something out there, something else to do other than swimming, I think fashion would be his best bet because I don't think he has acting chops or like the personality to do a reality show. Right. Um, I know he did, like, a cameo on 90210, and he wanted to be on Dancing with the Stars. He wanted to be the next Bachelor um, on that TV show. So I think if you were to do, like, a reality show, that would actually be more of a plot. Like, mm-hmm. you, Or not a reality show, sorry, a fashion line on a reality show. That would be more of a plot. But then again, I, I just don't think it would be good. 
You know what I think, Amanda? I think you're right, but you know what I think? The poor, the poor bastard. And I'm so sorry for him because I'll tell you why I'm so sorry for him. They needed a story for Olympics because of the ratings. So when they wanted to build him up to compete against, uh, what's his name? I'm so sorry I lost his name. Michael the, Phelps. The, right. right. Michael Phelps Help. was the story. But they needed a nemesis. They needed something like, you know, this guy's doing it and Lockie was doing it and, and blah, blah, blah. He, and, they, and the media built this image of him. Yeah. And I don't think he could fulfill what the image did. I think the media did this for the Olympic hype. And he was just... Yeah. Uh, an afterthought with Phelps. What do you think of that? I see. I mean, I think that he, okay, he won, we have to remember, he won one gold medal, and yes, that's great. Like, I'm super, you know, into bringing home as many gold medals. Okay, so put put him on the weenie box and get rid of him. Right. But, like, really does that, I mean, (laughs) Michael Phelps is, like, the most, the winningest Olympian ever. So, he doesn't compare. And I think I think, like, if Michael Phelps wanted all of this stuff, if he wanted his own fashion line and to be on a reality show and to, mm-hmm. to make cameos on all these TV shows, he'd be mm-hmm. a shoe in And mm-hmm. he's a sweeter guy. He's, yeah, you know, he's even I more agree. Modest, which is such a tr- – like, he's, to me, he's way more attractive than Lochte because of their personality. I don't think that being vain or arrogant or cocky is attractive. But you know what? One no, thing he not. does have. One thing that Lockie has is a backstory that all Americans are cheering for. Uh, during the Olympics, his mother was losing his, her house. They had financial problems. They gave all their money for this guy to compete. He is the American story. He needed to win to save the mom's house, to get some endorsements, so they can get some money. They were losing things. In fact, during the Olympics, I think they even repossessed his car, Lockie's car. I'm not quite sure. Okay, well, but yeah, but you know what, Brian? We don't know how or, much of that story is true rather than just hyped up. No, no, no. I mean, that part of that, that was documented. That, that was true. That was documented okay, in, okay. in the press yeah, Brian, that they had that, financial problems. Was uh, that the 2008 Olympics or huh? the 2012 Olympics? The 2000. This was the 2012 Olympics. It was this mm-hmm. recent Olympics, the Winter Olymp or Summer Olympics, that he, his mother was going through all this financial bankruptcy. This is the backstory. They had problems, and I think he did. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. He had his car or truck repossessed while he was competing. You know why? I just I don't know if that's true because I know he had done endorsements before the, yes. the 2012 Olympics, mm-hmm. which you get a ton of money for and also he drives i know he drives an audi don't ask me how i know that but i do mm-hmm. so uh, i don't think it i, I that could be true mm-hmm. i mean i don't know but mm-hmm. that could have been like a hyped up story i know that the american um gymnast gabby what was her name gab the the gold medalist gabby, the, gab, the, bl- the black girl yeah she, uh-huh. like, i think she had a story like that i think her family basically... She's got a great story, and she's oh, really yeah. good-looking, she's and she's well-spoken. Me. She could be made into something easily. Well, I think she's going to blow it. I, she doesn't have the personality for TV. She's cute, smile, jump on a beam. Yeah, nice butt, next. But she does not have... She was, they I had didn't her on. say in her <laughs> butt. I said they, she they was had her on. Wait a minute. They had her on The Voice. She was like... Gabby, uh, the- What's her last name? Gabby. Gabby, Gabby. Uh, I forgot her last name, but yeah, I know who you're talking about, the black okay. gymnast. Uh, mm-hmm. They had her on a voice, and she and it was so bad. It was no personality whatsoever. Really? Oh, yeah, and, too and, bad. And, you know what? And, yes. The thing is, she's she's an athlete. Like She's an Olympian. She's not trying to, you know, she's not saying she's all this, like, hot stuff and trying to get, like, her own reality show and stuff. Like, she's young. She, what is she, 16? I mean, She's not trying to be a superstar. I think she's trying to be a gymnast and win gold medals for America. And and I yeah, she doesn't know what she wants to do beyond um, she, okay. she we have wants a to go back and be a gymnast again. We have a question yeah. from Cole. But I, I, to, I do, I do have a question think she from Cole potential. to Amanda. I don't want to step on anything. And Suzanne, I love you to death. And the only reason I'm interrupting is Cole's law in this minute, so he's paying for this question. Okay. Um, Cole, if you can hear me, go ahead. This is Amanda. Ask a question. You're on. Oh. Hey, man, how you doing? Hi, good. How are you? It's funny that you're saying you're a server because I worked in about 60 restaurants in about nine different states over about a 17-year period. I haven't, I haven't put a plate of food down in about three and a half, four years, knock on wood. But, um, you know, just be really careful out in L.A. because there's a lot of wolverines out there. And, you know, just be really, really careful because I know, you know, every every person's dream, but especially when it comes to girls, 
young women such as yourself that go out to L.A., um, you know, it's it's very it's very dangerous out there, and you know, uh, yes. it's it's a it's a very dangerous meat market, and you're nothing more than you. You're a dime a dozen out there. Everybody wants to go out there and do the same thing. And I don't mean you're a dime a dozen. I just mean, you know, be careful. But anyway, it's funny. Um, you know, you guys are talking about everybody kind of like as a product. And, and also, they like, are. Who, who cares? They I are. No, no, we, no, no. You are. I'm not. You want to get into this business, you are a product. I like it a lot. I never, I don't, I don't like to think, I don't look at things like that. I'm an artist. And when I do something great and I get paid for it, That'll take care of itself, but when you when when you equate money with every single angle and everything, it's it's nauseating. Anyway, let me just get, let me just talk to Amanda for a second. I don't need to get jumped on from all angles. Um, okay. So anyway, um, you know, talk, oh, no, one, one one funny note. Um, <laughs> the Olympics. You know, I don't know about you guys. If you remember, Mandy, you might be a little bit too young, but Michael Johnson, when he won 200 meter and the 400 meter in record time, which will never be broken at one second for every 10 yards on the 200 and the 400 meter, to me, is more exciting than than Michael Phelps, Phelps winning one gold medal. I think swimming is the most goddamn boring sport. I'd rather watch Please. senior ladies golf than, than, well, than swimming. Well, you know what, anyway, let me tell you something. That's a preference, though. I, <laughs> I, I think swimming is my favorite. <laughs> I think swimming is definitely I'd rather watch sport. women's tennis and hear Monica Sellis go, ah, ah. Uh, for two hours, uh, here we go. Watch, I bet you would. Like, <laughs> you know, diving school is just like on the Olympic level of what I like to watch on the Olympics. I didn't watch any of that swimming shit. I mean, that's just. That's I, just I think a swimmer can kick anybody's ass. Any football player, anybody, I don't care who you, you put them up against as far as conditioning, shape, as far as determination, endurance, and competition. A a swimmer can kick anybody's ass in any sport. Maybe exception of a soccer player, but other than that, I still think. Or a marathon dude. Those guys, the guys who win the marathon, run 26 miles, and like you know, those guys have some. But we're good, we're uh, talking organized sports, but I think uh, oh, I'm going to ask Amanda that because she's yeah, our guest. I agree I with you. The, the athlete of a swimmer, swimmer is unbelievable. I think so too. What do you say, Amanda? What's the question? The question is yes. that Cole question? doesn't really think swimming. Um, he didn't say that they're not athletes. He just no, said no, it's boring actually, to watch. Excited. No, boring to watch. No, no, don't, but don't, I don't think, do the things around on me. You're saying that. No, I just said it. I just clarified it. I didn't say that okay. you didn't think they were athletes. I just think you were, they were boring to watch. But I went to the to the conditioning aspect of the swimmer. I said, these guys are the most conditioned and shaped athletes and the, than oh, any the, other uh, organized sports. Yeah. There's, I don't I mean, know, basketball, yes. I used to play basketball. You know, you have to be pretty in shape to run full court. For uh, no, a swimmer could kick a basketball player's ass Omar, as far as conditioning. Trust Omar me. Omar Odom, have you heard what he eats in his diet? He eats candy. He's a basketball player, and he eats junk food all the time. Like, super unhealthy, and he's a basketball player. I mean, he's. I don't think he's, like, super good at this point, but, I mean, he. I think he was at one point. But, no, I think, I think that just goes down to, like, What's your preference when you're watching the Olympics? Of course. Because exactly. swimming yeah. is my favorite, and it's really it's so interesting to hear what their regimens are and how they train, you know, for four years. But then you've got gymnasts. I mean, they're so unbelievably strong, the things they do. And mm-hmm. it's been proven that gymnastics is the number one sport with the most injuries, and people think football, rugby. It's gymnastics. Yeah, so I, agree with your body I agree insane. with you. I agree with you. Know you, know you. Favorite, yeah. and I you know what my girlfriend's them. favorite uh uh, sport in Olympics is. I'm like gonna tell you this. She no, I'll tell you what it is. She loves the running, and I'm gonna tell you why. She knows that the black guys do not wear underwear, and they and she slows it down. Oh, did you oh ever see God. these guys? No, no, no. This is true. Oh, this goodness. is true. And you guys can go into these archives. I looked at this. What the hell is going on here? Well, you know they don't wear underwear. They, oh, oh, God, you see it? it Amanda, Amanda, you can back me up on this. You get these Jamaicans in those little spandex, they're not wearing underwear. You can see right through that. They're going leg to leg to bop to blop to bop. Am I right, Amanda? You know what? I didn't really pay attention to that. I think they were running so fast. I was kind of more like, who's in the lead? Where's America? Oh, but, no, okay. Yeah, but you would think without the underwear, the flopping around would slow you down. That's when you yeah, do. Yeah, I can see that. And you know what? When I watch the race, I'm not looking yeah. for uh, berries and twigs. 
I'm looking for the, the, the guy's, you know, head and the finish line hey, and the legs. I got high like, def I'm TV, at, at and I got, I got this guy not running towards me in slow motion wearing no underwear. Trust me. Oh, my I God. God. Let's go. Maybe nice. they're counting. Maybe they're counting on the tip of the penis passing the finish line so they can win. Oh, well, that's why the Jamaicans win. But let's go with this, Jam- uh, Amanda. You have a story for us. We're running almost out of time. So yeah, I got. I got. Hey guys, I got. I got to take off. But Chris just wanted. To, Chris Walken just walked. I uh, walked in. Just want to say goodbye and wish Amanda good luck out there. Hang okay, on. let's hear. Thank you so much. Oh. I appreciate it. Okay, okay we have to call. Uh, hey Brian. Uh, Chris walking, calling in, and I didn't get a chance to call in on your birthday, or maybe I did. Oh, yeah, that's right, I did. No, I forgot. Anyway, happy birthday. I hope you got laid at least, uh, you know, something down there on Sunset Boulevard. Anyway, Amanda, uh, good luck headed out there from uh, Orange Juice Land to Orange Juice Land. Uh, It's a little different. Weather's kind of the same, but uh, a little bit more pitfalls out there, but I just want to say, you sound like you're about 12 years old, so you might want to take uh, some male steroids to try and drop the voice down a little bit. But uh, I know you're going to make it. Your resume looks better than, than Cole's does, and he's like, you know, 45. So uh, the sky's the limit, and just keep your chin up. And remember that your serving days are probably over. And oh, no, over, no. Is... That was over a year ago. <laughs> Let me clarify. You know, I did you know, not over... like... I did not like being a server. Yeah, we'll try it for 17 years. Cole, uh, like, can't even go into a restaurant without wanting to strangle the maitre d. But anyway, listen, I got to go, Brian, Suzanne. Thank you, Mr. Walker. You guys have a fantastic day, and uh, I'm going to give it back to Cole. He's going to say goodbye. Mr. Walker, the police dogs are chasing you. Thank you Uh, very much, Mr. (laughs) Walker. They smell the coat coming out of my back pocket. I got to go. Okay, Mr. Walker. Thank you. Hey, Amanda, it was nice meeting you. Uh, I appreciate you having me on as always, Brian. Suzanne, please give me the info. Can you call me later? I'm ready. Alex is ready to pull the trigger on the hopper to get this thing on. So you got it, buddy. All right. More cowbell, Mr. Walken. I'll talk I'll to you later. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Ladies Bye. and gentlemen, Cole Blackwell. Thank you very much, Thank sir. Oh, yeah. Amanda. Okay, love. Uh, Amanda, do you have a story for us? Well, the story that I initially wanted to talk about was Brian Lochte filming his pilot here in Gainesville and then... What will happen if it gets picked up? Do you have a dog, Brian? Is that your dog? <laughs> yeah, Suzanne, is that, is that Beaujolais? No, that's not Beaujolais. Beaujolais is at the beauty parlor. Oh, uh, wow. I don't know who. I think they're they're chasing Cole. That was the police dog. So. That, yeah, yeah, that was the police that. dog. That's why he had to run really quickly. <laughs> He's in Jersey. <laughs> no judgment. <Nice. laughs> run, Cole, Run. <laughs> Run, run, baby, run. Exactly. When he does his Christopher walk and they bring out the dogs. There you go. Thank you, boy. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a song coming. There's a song coming. Don't let the dogs out. Exactly. <laughs> nice puppy. Nice puppy. <laughs> nice okay, puppy. Amanda. That was an interesting story, though, with Lockie, and I and I think you're absolutely right on that. I think they'll shoot the pilot. They won't show the pilot. Maybe they'll go one episode. But I think they'll test out the market, try to sell it, find out that there's nobody interested in like Levi, and drop him. Well, and the reason why I think they will is because he's had a lot of stuff going on with the E! Network. I mean, I think he was, he was definitely on Fashion Police with Joan Rivers, and oh, they loved him. And, I mean, Joan Rivers is hilarious, but she – definitely yeah. owned that show. I mean, he was not super entertaining, um, right. but again, he wants his own fashion line, so he was a good guest. And then I I remember seeing him on some sort of red carpet with an E! News microphone interviewing people, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, that that should be me. What are you doing? But <laughs> I, I know he's doing stuff with E!, so I kind of think E! might want to do a reality show with him, but again, if they don't have good content, if they don't have good footage. I don't think they will. Now, uh, you got to be quick on your feet to be on the red carpet interviewing people. you got to be quick. Yeah, now, yeah. And, and that's true. Amanda, are you sending out your trailers, your resume? I know you are. It's just a silly question, mm-hmm. but it's a basic question because you have interned in some of the best stations nationwide mm-hmm. as far as locally, KTLA here. Right. 
I mean, you should be a sure win. At least to get inside as an intern and or or just on a copy desk or or whatever. I hope so I mean, I mean, since I'm graduating, like I've shown it to people. I sent it out to some people, and I'm really going to be doing a lot more of that, like within a few days when I'm done with all my finals and everything. But the thing is with KTLA, and it was such an amazing experience, and I would do anything to have a job there. I mean, it's it's such a it's such a great such a great station. I um, really want to get a show with her and Gail. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you know, we're trying to reach Gail, and we're going to have Amanda back on because I would love for Gail to interview her. You, uh, Gail Murphy. And Amanda, you are absolutely gorgeous. I'm just looking well, at your picture. She is. Now we have, now we have our resident guy. He is our guy that we go to. To let us know if you're good or you're bad. Vinny, are you still around, buddy? Vinny? Okay. Vinny will come back on the show. Maybe you muted us. Vinny's from Jersey, so he can tell talent. Um, yeah, he can. Let's see. So, Amanda, so where are we? You're sending out your resumes. You're sending out mm-hmm. this. You're reaching your contacts. Okay. What about Sam yeah. Rubin? I know Dorothy okay. Lucy left uh, Channel five, uh, 11. They're having a big problem there. Have you gone there? What's going on at Channel 11? Uh, KT, KTTV and the local Channel 11 in California. You know, that you have your your KTLA, which is Channel 5, and then you have your right. Channel 11. That's Channel 5, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fox, basically Fox. Yeah. Have you seen uh, that uh, with, uh, <laughs> with Steve Edwards? Mm-hmm. Have you sent your resume and all that stuff to him? Because he's on Facebook. Oh, no, I, I, I will have to do that. Um, the thing is, like, it was just... Like like I was saying before, KTLA was such a great experience, and I wish I could have a job there. But what I was told is is that when I was interning there, because I was the only out of state intern at the mm-hmm. time, like the interns were from like you know Cal- LA, California. Um, so towards the end of of my internship there, and and I can understand them saying this, but I was kind of like an expiration date because they knew I was going back to US to finish up my senior year. At so, University of Florida. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I didn't know if, like, they really saw me as just fulfilling an internship or, like, sure. getting a job in the future there, which I've expressed because I would love it. And I still um, I still keep in contact with the producers there. Grace and Lorraine are awesome, and they've taught me so much. Um, mm-hmm. But, like, at the same time, they, they, they think that if I want to be – on TV, like in a big market, I need to start out in a smaller place, and mm-hmm. hopefully, like all I, I know that there's a lot of um, interns there that intend to be TV reporters or anchors or whatever that end mm-hmm. up falling into production at KTLA, and I think that's great. Like there was there's one girl there that started out as an intern, and she kept volunteering her time for free, coming in after her internship. Like this was after her internship, she would come in for free, and eventually she got a job there, which is mm-hmm. great. But she's in production. And right, right. you can't, you know, you can't just go straight onto TV there. Sure. Uh, so I always no. thought, like, I don't want to be, like, an associate producer. I want to, you know, I want to be on air. But, like, I do know that there are stepping stones, and you can't just, I'm right out of right. college. I don't expect to be, you know, taking Sam Rubin's place on his, like, sick days and covering entertainment all over right. the world. But, like, I, I don't know. Like, there's got to be some sort of path for me to get no. there, hopefully in L.A. Now, explain to us what are the intern duties that you did at KTLA. What did you do? It was it was a lot different than my other internships um, mm-hmm. because KTLA is so big. It was more mm-hmm. of in-house production, whereas at my other internships, I would go out with the reporters, um, like shoot my own stand-ups, help write copy. But at KTLA, um, basically, like the first thing I would do is, well, definitely getting coffee for the producers and the anchors because that keeps the show running being mm-hmm, heavily caffeinated, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but make sure they have all their newspapers so they can review, like, stories. Um, mm-hmm. I'll look for story ideas, pitch some ideas. I'll always um, go online and, and look for things for them to talk about. And then when we have celebrity guests, I'll write the scripts for them. Mm-hmm. So I'll, like, research what they're promoting, you know, like a season finale of a TV show or a new book coming out or a charity they want to talk about. And so I'll, I'll base my questions around that. And then I'll give the the scripts to the producers, and then to um, Sam Rubin, and he'll kind of. So you do the pre interviews. A, a lot of times, Sam will know already what he's going to say, but it's nice to kind of have some backup questions for him. Right. So and, so you do the you do the pre interviews, and uh, you get you get the you get the little thing of what they want to talk about, and you send the information to the right. anchor. Right. Well, they're, okay. they're they're 
you know, publicist or something or whoever will send, right. you know, what they what they're going to be on the show for. So I don't personally pre-interview them, but I'll I'll like research what they're talking about and write the script for them. Well, that, you know that that's pretty good job. When I was an intern in the movies, my job was to make sure the outhouse was uh, was secure. Ew. Oh. I mean, no. I mean, when you're a PA, believe it. And a man can say, when you're an intern, there's it's not unusual to say, I want to make sure this toilet paper is stocked in this person's bathroom, or this peanuts are here, or this person like this kind of water. Make sure. A- am I wrong here, Amanda? Oh, no, no, no. I had to go out on Starbucks runs when we had guests who needed specific drinks that I didn't even know existed. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I would get the, some of the strangest requests, but like. That's what an intern does, and at first I was kind of, you know, bitter about it because my first two internships I would get to, you know, interview people and and help film and help edit and and shoot some stand-ups for my resume tape. But this, but like really, there's this, there's so many, such a big staff at KCLA that they need they need people to do things like that. Like one time, sure. Sam's phone broke and I had to go to AT and T to try to get it fixed. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like I mean, he needs his phone. He's like super, super busy. So sure. And, like, and what is? And how much do they pay interns? Everybody's gonna be surprised. How much did you get paid being an intern well, at a big station like KTLA? I bought college credit for my internship. In fact, you hear that, everybody? <laughs> Major yeah. TV place, KTLA. She got college credit. Did they even tip you? Did they give you a little something, something for if you fix Sam Rubin's phone? Here you go, kid. Here's twenty bucks. Thank you. Any of that happen? No, no, nope. no. But um, you know, like I wasn't expecting that. Like I don't think I don't even think, like I know for UF I can't get college credit for an internship if they do pay me. But I'm also very positive that KTLA just doesn't pay, pay their interns. And I, I, I could look I into it and see if we could get you college credit. <laughs> <laughs> Or payment. Like, you know, I got college credit. But Never I university. But, yeah, you know. Um, you know, I was a professor at accredited universities. <laughs> actually, she was. Actually, she was a professor. Your background, she was a professor at accredited university. We only have the best on this show. I may seem like a clown, but we I surround myself with intelligent people, with wit, and they handle the interview when I stammer. <laughs> so Amanda, here we go. Okay, so you worked there for how long, and you only got college credit? I'm thinking a semester because it's college credit. Right, a summer semester. Okay, a summer Correct. semester. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to say two words to you, Perez Hilton. What and the reason him? I, yeah, the reason I said that is because this numbnuts who I do not like started a blog. Next thing you know, he's on a panel of Donald Trump Miss America contest. Mm-hmm. He's all over oh the place. God. He's traveling with Lady Gaga. It was just from a blog, Amanda. The mm-hmm. the social network is so freaking powerful. Let me tell you, the it networks is. right now are dinosaurs. They are yes, trying they are. to get into the Internet market. They're trying to get into social media. They're behind us. You guys are already there. Uh, you can go with Hulu. You can go with all these things. You can go with Google, Yahoo!, not to mention YouTube. Do you have anything on YouTube, Amanda? I do. All of my, all like a lot of my packages that I've shot for investigative reporting and some sports packages and my entertainment segments are are on there. Now you got to get your numbers up on YouTube. Then nobody's gonna not nobody's gonna notice you until you get up to a million. A million. That's when well, they start noticing try. you. <laughs> it's true. Definitely. No, it's I true. agree. Like one of my entertainment packages for is a local bar in Gainesville has like a thousand views, and I thought that was insane. I thought that was a lot. And like, <laughs> it's an investigative reporting piece, and this is really cool. Like to me, that's a lot. But then again, like my audience is Gainesville, which is not a very big town. So yeah, I well, I'd like to give you some suggestions. I would love suggestions. Great. Tell me if they're a good idea. Now, see, you're in Florida, which is great. Everything happens in Florida. All this basketball, every celebrity go to Florida. You know, the South Beach, whatever. Yeah. I would take your girlfriend. Uh, let me ask you something. Oh, God. Were you in a sorority? What's the name of your sorority? Yes. I knew uh, it. You're up scale. I was in um, Theta Tau Alpha. Look at, at UF, you. which is the one that Erin Andrews was in when she was at UF, actually. Oh, look. See, high maintenance. Really quickly, 90 seconds. Tell us your links and where they can reach you on Facebook. Tell me tell me your what? What? Your links, links. Where, people can, where people can reach you. 
Oh, uh, on Facebook? Yes. Yeah, Amanda Rogers. Like, I think my real, it's like Amanda Rogers Entertainment Reel. And then once you click on that, you have access to all my videos. Facebook, where can they reach you? How do they reach you? How do they download um, it? It'll be Mandy Rogers. Uh, my my Facebook name is Mandy Rogers, so what is, I don't know, Facebook.com. They can, yeah, they can Mandy search Rogers. it. Now, yeah. how about website? How can they reach you? Oh, well, I am in the process of making my website Amanda, uh, Amanda Rogers TV.com. So, and that's Rogers, no D. Everyone puts a D in it, but there's no D. And then um, I'm also on LinkedIn as Amanda hey. Rogers. So, yep. I'm not sure I, mean, I don't use it. But I and do. hold it right there. I'm going to say really quickly, I want to thank my guest today, Demi Navav. Navkov, N A K O V. Please help him with his uh, with his campaign. He's an award winning director. I want to thank a special guest here, Amanda um, uh, Amanda Rogers. Don't forget that name because you're going to hear it a lot. Uh, yes. Thank you so much, Amanda. Here's my suggestion: What you do, get a, get your friends, go to these clubs. Keep a camera on you or a phone on you. Interview people as much as you can. You never know what's going to happen. We heard stringers. There's, you know what a stringer is. You've been in the business. Oh, yeah. oh, they yeah. make a lot of money. You know Where what? You that are, thought they're... actually occurred to me the other day. I was like, there's going to be celebrities all over, like, South Florida and Miami. I don't know. That's right. Okay. Get, even get hooked up with a stringer. Get one stringer that you can, ca- that you can trust. Seriously. Mm-hmm. I would suggest this. Get hooked up with a stringer. I'm going to mean hook up. I know what you mean. Get connected to a stringer that you can trust. These guys hit hard news stories, but they shoot with their cameras. They're independent. Okay. But if you can do the story with one of them and you can send it to the network, you can do a, you can do a shortcut to get noticed, Amanda. Well, thank you. That's, that's actually really great advice. I haven't heard that before. That's a good idea. Yeah, advice. because I'm great. But that's what you do. You <laughs> hook up with a stringer, and they have these police radios. You know they do. You know how they get the stories. As soon as he says, go, we got a story, wherever you are, at your party, kiss your boyfriend, goodbye, you you do the story. Do the cover story. Jump this is where we are. Go. This is Amanda oh, Rogers. And, yeah. and and you know what? The news, the network will buy that. They will buy that. They will that. buy it. That way you can earn your living while you're you getting a right. break. You got a name. And, you're, and you will no longer be a server. And bingo, you're, you'll be there. What do you You've think? You've got it. You, you, you've got what it takes. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you guys. And, I and put it that. and put it on your website, put it on your blog, you put it on YouTube, you make yourself a name, get yourself a channel on YouTube. Don't just post your stuff on well, YouTube. Well, I have a channel. Yes, I Good. think I have a channel. Mm-hmm. So that's what I suggestion to do. And any time that you see a celebrity, go and approach them. I don't care if they're walking around just in the mall and say, hey, aren't you? Let me ask you two questions. Even if they don't answer, it's still funny. Put it on there. You, you interview you the celebrity. Get your name it. out there. You can still sell it, yes. Right. Then you go to there. And then when you go to a club, which is a high-profile club, and you know what I'm talking about, where only pe- certain people get in, yeah. right. you go in and you ask who's the owner, who's the manager, interview whoever you can, and you're at the club. You're doing a little spot outside the club. You're inside the club with an exclusive interview. And they will let you in because of your looks just that alone. There you go. <laughs> you guys, what do you think? Thank you so much. I think it's a great idea. There's the nothing only, wrong with using your assets. The only Use thing them. is that I I'm I, I'm from Jacksonville, which is like an hour an hour and a half from Gainesville, and Miami is a good five and a half hours away. But well, then move. But well, no, no, no. She doesn't have to move. Uh, let me. Okay, here's where I can tell you another idea. Then everybody, okay. if you look at the news, Amanda, and you can, if you look at the news, they always say. Uh, they associate the story by somebody else. According to TMZ, according to this, mm-hmm. mainstream is doing it because they're lazy and they just might as well get the content right. for something else. True. You could do the same thing, Amanda. You could do a remote in Jacksonville. You can go and you can get a story from according to TMZ, according to Radar Online, according to this, what's happening in the headlines. You can get a camera on you, report that story on location. This is a, according to TMZ. This is Amanda uh, Rogers reporting. Do the story, put it on your website, send it to somebody else as your as your tape. You know what? That's a good idea yep. too. So yep. these are some some things you could rattle. You know, you think about talk to your hubby or boyfriend or soon to be hubby if he makes a lot of money, marry him quickly, <laughs> and then and then get him addicted to drugs and divorce him. What was that last Would you part? stop? Would you stop? Don't do that. <laughs> Wait, Brian, you have to say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am so bad for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then please, it. please come back on our show. I would love to. That would be great. You guys are so great. <laughs> you have an open invitation. Anytime you have a story, you want to get your voice out there, please just come back. And, we'll, and, awesome. we'll, and uh, we will listen to it, and we'll promote you like crazy. Well, thank you yes, so you much, will. Brian and Stan. Thank you. You're welcome. Go knock him dead, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Rogers, you will hear that name again, and she will be reporting from uh, probably Brian Williams' sh- uh, chair with NBC News soon. I know she will. God, I hope so. I'd like to kick him out. Exactly. Oh. I would watch it then. Thank you, Amanda. Thank have you. A, have a great day. See you soon. You too. Bye. Okay, Amanda. Bye-bye.